Dexter the Blade Jackson, 2008 versus 2015. This is actually part of your fan requested Friday lineup. You, you guys almost got that original video up to 500 likes. So go back. Just needs a couple more. Don't make a liar out of me. I'm going to do them anyway. You guys got it that close. But yes, Dexter the Blade Jackson. Of course, he is the Olympia champion in 2008, defeating uh, Jay Cutler. Actually, in this picture, he wasn't the Olympia champion yet. But you know what I'm saying. 2015, he surprised everybody by placing second at the Olympia. So this is actually worthwhile doing a comparison. And a little bit surprised. A little bit surprised. To be honest with you, Diane. I thought he was going to be larger in 2015 for some reason. Looks like he is more robust. Look at that great big man's chest. It's a great big man's, perfect man's chest back in 2008. And hey, you know, he's good. He's good in 2015. Just looks more robust. Just the front relax though, guys. Let's go through these shots and see what we can figure out. Was he improving all those years? Was he actually better in 2015? His wheels, eh, they look a little bit bigger, I would think. I would suggest. Midsection is smaller in 2008 but it looks like it's more chiseled it looks like it's a little tighter maybe more conditioning could that be in the 2015 either way it's kind of a toss-up but i would take the the smaller waistline any day makes the lats look big too his lats are huge 2015 and his chest looks less robust yes but look at it the the cuts the vascularity biceps as well not as big and thick and round and bulbous. But my soul, they do seem to be a little bit more cut. Not very symmetrical. I don't think he was 100% symmetrical in the arms back in the day. And it's obviously even worse. But let us not speak ill of the legend. Dexter the Blade Jackson front lat spread is a blurry old shot from 2008. Pan back. Distorts the size each and everything but you can tell that he is a little fuller in the chest and i think that is the one muscle or at least one muscle group that looks better for the younger guys and probably one reason why the guys from the 70s look so good with their big man's chests they were all in their 20s except for serge Nebre. here is the turn to the side and you know dexter you know you got to open up you know show them in bodybuilding, you never hide away when you pose. You got to hit every strike, just supreme. But it is obviously Dexter the Blade Jackson hitting it properly, baby please, in 2008. For some reason, he was, maybe the judges told him not to open up fully. Maybe they appreciate seeing it from the side. You can see the side pack. But this is Dexter versus Dexter. We like to see the exact same pose to see any improvements or lack thereof. And no side tricep, go to the back shots. Another shot here for 2008. It's kind of blurry. Can't really see. I mean, I mean, you can use it for sizing, things of that nature. Back does look a little bit fuller. But you need to get a clearer shot. And this one's not bad. Not bad at all. Look at the back, guys. In 2008, that Christmas tree. Propolis. Baby, please. Good in 2015 as well. Traps look big, almost as big. Lighting's better, I would suggest, 2008. Now his, I think it's his right quad from behind does not look nearly as large. You can see, maybe there's a uh, lost some size, or maybe it's just the way he's holding his, uh, his leg. But, yeah, I think he's, he's, he's almost as good. Lats are a little bit wider maybe in 2008, but the more I look, the outer lats seem to be jetting out a little bit further in 2015, and maybe some more dryness in the glutes. I guess you'd have to ask Dexter himself, were you more dry in the glutes? Of course, who cares about glutes? <laughs> look at them arms and the rear double bicep, mate. Yes, the blunder from down under. Any, anyway. That's my Lee Priest impression. And you can definitely see the 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 imbalance of the arm. The right arm. Or the, the left arm, rather. The right arm's huge for both. Both the uh, 2008 and uh, 2015. I gotta say, 
Dexter the Blade Jackson, he did an outstanding job. Or out, an outstanding job, I should say. I apologize. Did a great job on maintaining his prime. Because he won the Olympia title, there can be no argument. Yes, it is his prime. Some may say, oh, 2009, he was better, but it's basically splitting hairs. He's pretty close, maybe better than 2009, but this is obviously his prime when he won the Olympia title, and he's just as good way down the road, 45 years old. Awesome, awesome. Here's the abs and thigh, and he is a legend for sure, midsection, just as peeled. It looks like his uh, separation in the abs just as good. Now, yes, at 45, your midsection does grow. Even at my age, I'm a couple of years younger than that. I'm 42, and I can, just in the last couple of years, the midsection, definitely harder to maintain a, a smaller one, for sure. I mean, you can do it, obviously. Dexter's proving that you can get just as peeled. Probably took more work. More uh, ab works, more more uh, conditioning, tighter diet. Lats, I gotta say, it was harder to tell in most of the shots, but I think here in the front lat or the uh, abs and thigh pose rather, you can see you can see those lats. And uh, somebody told me to do an entire video in a Homer Simpson voice. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think the masses. Here's the most muscular. I don't think the masses would appreciate. The Homer Simpson impression throughout the entire video. That's why I just toss them in from, you know, from time to time. Jesse the Body Ventura. Been a while since I've done that impression. You should haul that little sucker out a little bit more often there, Mark's Minimum Muscle. Ha 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 ha. He is posing a little bit lower. 2015. And like I said, I don't like to, you know, make comparisons like this of this nature. Unless the poses are the exact same. But I think we proved enough here. I think we proved that he was a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Chest was a little fuller. But I'll be darned if he wasn't a little drier. A little more conditioned. In 2015. Back. It was uh, debatable. The back. The more I looked. 2015 looked better. But first glance. 08 looked pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So, I don't want to get into who's winning this one. It's the same, exact same guy. They're both both good. Both good. So, yes, Dexter the Blade Jackson. There's not too many people in the history. There's no bodybuilders that can win the Olympia title and maintain that physique. You know, way down the road. Way down the road. More, more than 10 years down the road. He was still good in 2018, 19, 20. Not bad, not bad. Slipping a little bit there, but, I mean, 50 years old. I mean, who could blame him? Hit thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to go back to that Hattie Shupin versus Samson Dota. Just need maybe 60 more thumbs ups. 30 of you two dudes. Not a problem. Not a problem. Have a great one, guys. Well, come on. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you have not already. And if you would like to, you know, check out my latest video as well. And there is a playlist if you want to really help me out. You could watch a bunch of videos as well. Have a great one, ladies and gentlemen. Well, come on, Billy!